because today we are overhauling my garden. I bought this house back in 2016. I have about an acre of land. And since then I haven't really done anything to the property. I am going to be here for a very long time. Uh, and I figure I might as well start a garden and make it something I enjoy. You wanna go outside? You wanna go out in the garden? Let's go. So I wanna give a little tour. This is my kind of backyard area. I own everything from here and like all of that green space back there that you see. It's all just covered in blackberries. That is for future projects. Uh, so give me a follow if you want to stick around and see what I do with that. So this is the era area we will be working on today. Hi, Ayla. I live right on a main road. The land next to me is about to be developed into apartments, so that will soon just be a big wall of apartments right next to me. First, we're going to start and mow the lawn. I'm going to cut back some of the blackberries because it's almost harvest time and all of those blossom and give fruit every year. So I figure I'm gonna wait until after they're done doing their thing and then I'll cut them back. As you can see, I've already done a little bit of gardening. Uh, I have some mint that has kind of gone awry. Put some onions in there. This pot right here is going to be peppers. And then this, oh shoot. This is gonna be, oh wait, no, this is lettuce. This is peppers. Then we got this side, which is obviously very overgrown. I need to clean up the patio. I wanna repaint the door and just trim everything back. Lots of lovely wildflowers blooming. Then we will go around the back side. And then this is the side of the house. So I kind of have a little fairy garden thing going on. In the future, I would love to have this side of the yard be kind of a patio area with like brick. Um, I would also like to put like a set of French doors right there to just come out here under the shade trees and have coffee in the morning because it is the quieter, shadier part of the house. I'm probably the most private because I have all of these trees here kind of blocking me out from the neighbors. for my life here. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. This has been a little exhausting. I just found something. Really glad I didn't hurt this guy. Found a little froggy boy. So I'm going to put him over here. I put my little garden bed thing. I get flowers and a good garden going, then I will mow these spots with all the wildflowers. Oh yeah. Look at those little guys. The little burrs. These grow like crazy in my yard. Um, look at my face right now. If you like to talk to tomatoes. <laughs>
Okay, so while me and Ayla take a water break, let me just talk about why I'm out here and why I'm kind of let my yard go for so long. If you struggle with depression and anxiety, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But I have just, I've been struggling with it for the last couple of years. And it just, it got out of control. I have a whole acre and it's just, if you ever, if you have blackberries on your property, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But you cut back blackberries and they just grow back like that. I was working every fall um, to cut back the blackberries and they just kept growing back. And then it became so much mowing the front and the back of my property. And seasonal depression comes along. The pandemic comes along. And taking care of your yard just doesn't seem a top priority. So, but now I'm trying to work on that and get to a better place. And yeah, here we are trying to make a food forest, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> zucchini in the far one and then the spinach in the center I have no idea if they're supposed to be planted next to each other but that's the thing about gardening is you kind of just learn as you go so did not finish filming the end of the day yesterday and I just wanted to show you what I did. So I cleaned up the garbage can and some other stuff that was kind of just gross looking in the yard. And my dad and mom stopped by and brought the pressure washer, so I got to pressure wash my stairs. Um, I still need to repaint the door. My mom also got a wild hair to just create a flower bed there, um, so she helped with that. I finished weed eating and mowing the yard. Um, of course, except for the flowers, so I'm keeping those until I get some new ones for a flower bed. And then I also pressure washed this side and pressure washed the door and just cleaned up the edges, planted some flowers. Also, <laughs> we dug up the skeleton. He was covered in vines and plants from Halloween a couple years ago. And he's just kind of been my little mascot just hanging out under that window. Next plan is to go get flowers, um, paint the door and figure out some more flower beds.
what you saw was called the Brothers Greenhouse. Um, it's this really gorgeous uh, greenhouse in Washington State. It's in Gorst, Washington. They have a whole hobbit house and just a bunch of fairy garden supplies and it's incredible. If you can make a trip there, you definitely should. They have a bunch of small artists and small creators, creators and creatives um, that you can buy from in there. So you should definitely do it. So let me show you what I got today. It was in a huge haul. So I ended up getting a dahlia plant. Um, it's a little too big for this planter. So I'm gonna have to find another one. And then I got a eucalyptus plant come over here. I got a lavender plant and a strawberry plant. Um, so I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with these guys. I want to do an in-ground or a raised bed plant for this one. And I think maybe the same with the lavender. The lavender I might put maybe here somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, we will see. So I had somebody on TikTok make a comment of how I should turn this into a mushroom garden. I am ordering from this website. I think it's called Mushroom Perfecti. So I'm going to order some mushroom plugs from that. I've got some little logs in my garage and I'm going to put them on the logs. And then I'm going to make big clay faux mushrooms and just kind of sprinkle them in there. But yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully it works out. Maybe I'll get some mushroom sprouts. Editing Sarah here. So the yard has changed a little bit, but I'm going to move it to a separate video because this one's getting kind of long. So if you want to keep up with my yard, please give me a follow um, and like and comment on this video. I would really appreciate it. Can't wait to see what it looks like in future videos. Bye!